Yo, what's going on my people? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a recent statement made by Cardano founder, Charles Hoskins about XRP holders. Some people are calling it a conspiracy, but what does it really mean? Yo, my people, I hope you've been enjoying the past 24 hours, of course, because you know what you get over here, another 24 hours of blessings. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the recent statements made by Cardano founder Charles Hoskins about XRP holders. I mean, some people are calling it a conspiracy, but what does he really mean? We're going to be breaking it all down for you and let you decide. So please stick around. As you guys can see here at the time of this recording, our XRP is right here at 45 cents, almost at 46. As you guys can see, it's up 1% on the day, but it's always good to see some green action for XRP. Now, this is the news that is on everybody's lips right now is the new prime minister for the UK. Well, it seems like there's news rustlings out there, of course, that he's really about central bank digital currencies and really cryptocurrency coming to the UK. Really quickly, as you guys can see here from uh, the Tracker 94, he was tweeting out Rishi Sunak, the new prime minister here, says his family runs a China-linked World Economic Forum partner company peddling digital ID and social credit scores. His family has close ties to a tech partner of the WEF that's advocated for a Chinese communist style economy, e.g. trackable digital IDs and currency. So we're going to be looking further into that, about the information and that connection. I want you guys to hear this clip recently, you know, after some findings and discoveries uh, about some words he was saying when it comes down to central bank digital currencies. Check this out. This is a historic wall of capital for the net zero transition around the world. What matters now is action to invest that capital in our low carbon future. To do that, investors need to have as much clarity and confidence in the climate impact of their investments as they do in the traditional financial metrics of profit and loss. So our third action is to rewire the entire global financial system the net zero, better and more consistent climate data, sovereign green bonds, mandatory sustainability disclosures, proper climate risk surveillance, stronger global reporting standards, all things we need to deliver. And I'm proud that the UK is playing its part. Today, I'm announcing that the UK will go further and become the first ever net zero aligned financial center. All right, so I want you guys to see this. That was $130 trillion that are going to be dedicated to assets moving to net zero. You guys can see right here, Ripple has committed $100 million to scale and strengthen global carbon markets, addressing quality and transparency using blockchain and crypto. Demand for carbon offsets expected to skyrocket to $550 billion by 2050 to meet what those Paris Climate Accord goals. These are huge, guys. Seriously, we've uh, covered with you all the uh, crypto climate accord and really again its connection with the united nations and the paris climate accord really really huge for the future guys seriously but if you guys didn't know this was announced back in may ripple has uh committed over a hundred million to the carbon markets carbon markets are struggling to keep up with the exploding demand inhibited by supply bottlenecks slow time to market and the dearth of high quality products to meet those climate goals on a global scale carbon markets need enhanced mechanisms for project verification and and certification. So that's really what Rishi uh, was announcing back here. Just so you guys can know, Ripple has committed to zero carbon emissions by 2040. Okay, so putting that out there, making sure that everyone knows they're signatories of the Climate pr uh, Pledge, co-founded in 2019 by Amazon, included businesses from 51 uh, industries and 29 countries, guaranteeing they will reach net zero emissions 10 years before the Paris Agreement. So guys, of course, look through our library for the Paris, for the uh, Crypto Climate Accord, so you guys can know a lot more about the actual developers and companies that have signed on to reach this uh, this commitment. There's a few that's actually out there. Now, this is some new news that's actually out right now. The Ripple lead engineer is actually leaving after 10 years at the firm. This is what's going on. So they're saying here, uh, 
And this is, of course, amongst the growing list of crypto leaders that are leaving their executives roles in the industry amid what this ongoing crypto crash. Of course, guys, um, this is another thing we're going to be seeing more and more of this because you realize crypto, it's digital world, 24, 7, 365. People have real world bills, real world events that are going on. And you can see they're putting the squeeze on retail investors. So it's really interesting. You're seeing real uh, people that are working behind the scenes over at Ripple. They're leaving. So he's saying here, my decade long journey at Ripple, which he got involved in 2012 then, uh, has been fantastic. I got to work on a project that I love towards a goal I believe in. So he was they're saying at Ripple, uh, Nick, I believe his name, mainly worked on open source code uh, projects for the payments XRPL. He also overseen a series of major developments on the ledger's code base, including the introduction of NFTs, which are scheduled to go live next month. One of the key developments that Nick has led is the XLS20 amendment, which will see the addition of NFTs to the XRPL. The upgrade is allegedly primed to go through in early November, despite some initial bugs that have been addressed. So yeah, guys, I mean, for the guy who was integral in making sure that we have more advanced NFTs on the XRPL, it's great. 3,000 XRP holders will be involved in the Ripple lawsuit. Over 3,000 holders will be involved in a lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple. John Deaton uh, said this could make a huge difference in this in the case since there would be a massive exhibit with hundreds of thousands of pages. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, interesting stuff, guys. So to really show you all that connection earlier with Rishi, the new prime minister over in the UK, uh, this this connection is here. So you have uh, connections here with Amazon being connected with CloudTel. But his father here owns Catamaran uh, Ventures with his mother. They're also shareholders. OK, so his mother, his brother, and I don't know if this might be his wife or a partner here. They're all shareholders here or connected here with Infosys, Infosys. So what Tracker94 was saying earlier is about how it's connected with the WEF. Infosys here, as you guys can see, linked in with the WEF. Global leader in next generation digital services and consulting, enabling clients to navigate their digital transformation. Three decades in experience managing the systems of working global enterprises steers clients through digital journeys by enabling them with an artificial intelligence powered core that helps prioritize the exec execution of change it also empowers businesses with agile digital at scale uh delivery performance and all of that so long story short you guys are seeing the connections here with uh this connection here with rishi and this infosys okay amazon retailer and stuff like that so look more deeper into it of course guys that's just really obviously you already know the wef they're going to get their man <laughs> in in the point of power when they need to all right so uh right here as you guys can see cardano founder hoskins slams xrp community for spreading conspiracy theories Bruh. yep so we have it right here charles hoskins the co-founder of Ethereum and co-founder of Cardano stated that certain members of the XRP community are muddying the waters with their theories and making it more difficult for the industry as a whole to support Ripple. Hoskins made the comment during an interview with BitBoy this past weekend in regards to the long war between Ripple and the SEC. The comment followed an argument, so to say, between the XRP community and Hoskins during which the former came after the latter due to earlier statements which uh, Hoskins claims were taken out of context. In the episode earlier this month, Hoskins said there are some people in the XRP community that are trying to invent this grand conspiracy that there was blatant corruption between the insiders at the SEC and Ethereum. Hoskins' view was that this was not the issue, but the lack of regulation was. Guys, I mean, of course, um, I know I have some real OG XRP holders in here. You guys obviously know, you know, there's more, so much evidence, so much evidence, and it's piling up and it's stinking about the, about ETHgate, about the clear corruption between insiders at the SEC, multiple SEC commissioners, and Ethereum, the Ethereum Alliance. So uh, how does Ethereum come into all of this? Ripple just recently finally got documents they were after a long time and which the SEC does not want to give up. The Hinman documents. William Hinman, Bill Hinman, was the SEC uh, commissioner who said to have met Ethereum officials and who also declared that Ethereum Bitcoin are not securities. So they go on to say... Um, Hoskins argues that the primary objective of the XRP community is for Ripple to win, stating my comments, as I said, the grand conspiracy is not the issue, whether it's true or not. The issue here is that all 
of this attack, the personal attacks, the viciousness, the viciousness of it on particular members of a particular government agency. What they're accomplishing is first, they're forcing the SEC to dig its heels in and become more vicious in its enforcement. But more importantly, they're muddying the waters and making it more difficult for the industry as a whole to support Ripple. I personally do not agree. Rather than using the free pass argument whereby all are saved and all uh, drawn together. It's better not to put both XRP and ETH projects into a quote unquote bad position. He said, do you want to go and say the number two cryptocurrency instead of saying we're in this together? You go and say all the people running it, Ethereum are criminals who bribe the SEC and they should all go to jail. So does that make them want to help you or work with you? Basically, guys, as you know, he was a part. Of, he was a co-founder with Ethereum. He doesn't want to feel that there was any kind of bad news, bad blood uh, between the SEC and uh, Ethereum or, or the SEC and Ripple, SEC and uh, Ethereum, any kind of corruption. He doesn't see it at all. The Cardano founder went on to say that he knows the people behind Ripple and that he is supportive of their fight. Yet somehow years of being a supporter, years of saying we could collaborate and work together completely evaporate because I don't want to go down the road of accusing an entire government agency of criminal conduct, which it's possible, bruh. <laughs> the evidence is there, man. The, oh, man. Uh, what is it called? Cognitive dissonance. He also said here uh, to David Schwartz, I was kind of a little uh, disappointed with David Schwartz and others saying a lot could be said. And well, I'm just going to say and make it and make it said it. I'm going to say it to make me sad. How about you grow a effing pair of balls and tell your company not to be community, not to be conspiratorial. Wow, y'all, that's something. Let us know in the comments how you really feel about him really coming after XRP holders and calling them conspiracy theorists. I personally feel like the guy already has a background. He's a co-founder with Ethereum. He probably owns a lot of Ethereum and whatnot. Obviously has more Cardano might have a little bit of XRP. We shall see. Regardless, guys, this is really happening. These controversial statements are being made from Charles Hoskins. Really interesting. But look, I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and as well hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of our updates. But I'll hog you later. Peace.